Now, what I didn't do that that Cody did. So if you're in the midship, this makes sense to you guys. Can just go back to main chat and, and check it out. Because Cody said he's feeling emotional <laughs> after this. The, from here to here, things are up. Things are up nicely, you know. And if you're not used to uh, a lot of green out of nowhere, that can catch you off guard. Most of you guys are really used to red. Uh, so it is different when you see that green candle. It makes you that, that knee-jerk reaction of, I got to lock this in. So what he ended up doing uh, after talking, again, not a financial advisor, um, what we talked about throughout some ideas was, why don't you turn it into a spread? You bought the 190, sell the 210 call spread, same expiration, because we talked about doing calendar spreads where you sell uh, like a poor man's covered call. You, uh, you buy the leap, the longer date, and you sell weeklies against it. But if I'm right on gold, it's going to send it. Uh, and at that point, you sold a weekly. You're going to get called away way too soon where keep it the same expiration date, turn it into a spread, make it go wide. So if it does continue up, it scratches that itch of I locked in some profits. Uh, also, if it just continues to go, you have a $30 spread on a $200 product. That's still going to be an amazing trade. But if it pulls back, some of that theta is coming. Well, you're now positive and negative theta at the same time. As it pulls back, that one you sold, you'll collect that money on. And then you can then buy that back for cheaper or just buy another 190. You have, you have options at that point. Uh, it really kind of humbles down, kind of curbs the emotions at that point. 